Hello and welcome to our next lecture and video from this course NFTs Discovery. In this one we are going to talk uh, actually about earning from NFTs. We have uh, already talked about uh, how we can create our own NFTs, well the basic information related to that, but now we are going to talk about actually ways of earning from NFTs. So let's dive into the information. Create and sell your NFTs. This is something that uh, basically we have covered in the previous lecture. This is the way to make money directly on NFT. Uh, it permits creativity, monitoring and growth, obviously. From the previous lecture, you learned how to create an NFT. Now you know how to monetize it. The process is similar. After the creation, the chances of earning big from it is unlimited. Obviously, in NFTs, there's... Uh, there's very, uh, there is very much importance in what partnerships you have, uh, what influencers you have on board, what communities can you impact with that project and that's how uh, you get traction to it and that's how you increase their value, okay? So these are like the main, uh, let's say, uh, the main points that should be, uh, should be touched from a marketing standpoint. You must be creative and likewise persuasive after the whole creation then figure out how you can sell and as I've told you before uh, the main things that you have to uh, to look at is the marketing side okay the influencers the partnerships the communities that's where uh, where you can grow your project a lot obviously if you have a good project now <clears throat> digital art Digital works of art maintain a high rank among the valuable uh, products of, uh, of the NFT space. For example, recently Beeple uh, logically auctioned his work as an NFT in the digital currency and earned more than $69 million, which is uh, a big amount, obviously. The basic idea of digital works of art is the influencing power behind the process. Digital works of art can be informed of paintings, collections, family works, historical works, uh, videos, animations, um, music, and so on. Okay, so it, it can cover a lot, uh, a lot of let's say uh, elements from art. Collectibles, licensed collectibles are the collections of digital products owned by uh, by obviously people who have the license, so licensed uh, owner to say so. For example, so some sports contribute excellently to NFTs by creating the digital version of their physical cards, okay? Uh, so basically, you know, those those cards with, uh, with, with, let's say, baseball players and so on, now they have moved in the digital space and they are sold as NFTs and you can find them on different uh, NFTs marketplaces. They are very popular, they can grow in value, so uh, obviously it's a, it's a good uh, way or method uh, to earn from NFTs and it's definitely something you should look at. Many organizations, brands and individuals contribute to uh, the NFT space by making their assets available in digital version, uh, licensed collectibles, and we have an example here marvel collections on the vive marketplace you have to check it out they they have a lot of uh, a lot of nft drops okay so basically uh, nft launches or nft collection launches every week and they have it for different uh, uh, let's say for different projects they that they have in in the marvel studio uh, they have very popular ones like for spider-man uh, for X-Men and so on. Okay, so definitely uh, this is something you can look into. Then we have video games. Up to this point, none of the games using non-fungible tokens figure out how to acquire certain notori notoriety. However, the capability of applying NFTs to video games appears to be colossal and it starts to, to grow and become popular uh, eventually. Assuming any significant computer game organization chooses to sell in-game things as NFTs, the effect of such a choice on both gaming and blockchain systems would be substantial. Already a lot of uh, big companies are starting to get involved, like Atari, EA Games is planning on doing that, and many others. 
So basically, probably in the basically in the next few years, we are going to see uh, we are likely to see a boom in the crypto gaming space and gaming space in general, especially because of NFTs and uh, and basically games where you can earn by playing. This is currently a niche which is growing every day and the impact and gains will be huge. Gamers are known to spend fortunes on virtual items even before the, the crypto space appeared, even before uh, NFTs appeared and many game business sectors are worth billions. Because of their adoption in games, NFT in-games things may push the advancement of non-fungible technology forward. Okay, so be because of games which have high adoption in the NFT space, uh, this will actually reflect on the whole NFT industry. Non-fungible tokens used in computer games can change after some time, for instance by being updated, which is also a nice feature to have. Other forms of earning from NFTs, <clears throat> you have renting NFTs, which is actually pretty cool. So it is possible to rent an NFT, especially in game situations. A player may need more NFT than usual for a high chance of winning than low NFT in their wallet. Or they maybe they, they are playing a role playing game and they need a specific item, which is an NFT, uh, to accomplish a specific mission. And you can rent out that NFT to that player. So this is another nice way of earning money and actually it's a passive income method if you think about it. And then we have investing in NFTs. So you may bring in cash with non-fungible tokens by putting some resources into new companies and new projects. Uh, as the hotshot continue emptying more cash into NFTs, they are turning out to be more standard. NFT royalties. This one is a great one because again it's passive income. This process applies to NFT creators alone. Uh, upon their creation, uh, you or them may set a digital asset to receive royalties after each sale, even from the new buyer. Uh, this is actually a very, very cool method of creating passive income from NFTs. Then we have staking NFTs. Uh, staking NFT is similar to other stakings you can think of. Uh, you know that a lot of people are staking cryptocurrency and they earn rewards for that. Uh, but here you stake on decentralized currency and uh, basically that cannot be uh, on a decentralized currency which cannot be altered. Uh, the processes are automatic when you, your value increases or decreases the system automatically changes. Okay, But also there are other uh, types of staking in NFTs. For example, on some platforms you can stake NFTs in order to get access to other parts of that project. Uh, in uh, in some places, uh, for example, in in video games, you can stake NFTs to to gain uh, another different type of resource. Okay, so uh, there are many things that can uh, that can uh, let's say bring you rewards from staking NFTs, and many forms and new ones appear every day. Now, thank you very much for your attention, and we are looking forward to seeing you in the next lecture.